I've been interested in, in patterns of fertilization and uh, mating systems, and in particular how uh, ecology and evolution is affected by how much uh, sperm is in the water. And these are for organisms like sea urchins and corals and oysters and a lot of fish that reproduce by just releasing their sperm and eggs into the ocean. The number of males that are in the water uh, contribute either a little or a lot of sperm and a different sperm environment uh, can lead to very different patterns of fertilization and very different patterns of how uh, egg and sperm traits uh, evolve over time. What we have no idea of, and this is true for pretty much any organism, is whether at the scale of a single egg, whether different males actually try to compete to fertilize that single egg. So at the brief moment of fertilization, which only takes a second or so, do you get sperm from more than one male content that egg at the same time? Because if that happens, that means that those males are actually competing for fertilization for that egg. And it also gives that egg an opportunity to choose between the two males. Uh, if an egg is surrounded by the sperm from only one male, uh, that female and that egg doesn't have a choice. And it can only be fertilized or not, depending on whether it's compatible or not. So what we found um, is that it really depended on the ecological conditions during spawning. And so as population density increased, uh, and as the number of males spawning uh, increased and became closer to females, uh, then what we found is that the sperm from different males were really well mixed in the ocean, and that we saw a lot more competitive fertilization than we anticipated, meaning that single eggs were experiencing the sperm from as many as five and six males all in that same time when fertilization is occurring. Uh, but when the distances between males and females are greater, when population density is less, then often uh, eggs are surrounded by the sperm from only a single male. Um, and in those cases, uh, those eggs don't have a choice. They just get either fertilized or not based on the available male that hit those eggs. The next uh, piece to the story, which we're working on right now, is um, we know quite a bit about the sperm protein. Um, and what we're doing now is learning a lot more about the egg protein. It's a much larger, more complex protein.